Hey everyone, Megan here. Um, I usually write reviews for Weekend Special and today I just thought it might be quite nice to do a video review for a play that I've seen. Um, it has already been reviewed, um, it has been written about um, on Weekend Special. So I just thought maybe I'll just share some of my thoughts and feelings after seeing The Promise last, um, last night um, at the Homecoming Centre. Um, Extraordinary production, lauded production, um, lots of um, famous, amazing cast directed by Sylvain Strike, obviously based on um, the novel, the Booker Prize winning novel, um, Damon Galgut's novel. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd have this very informal chat about my impressions and feelings about the show. So. Right at the very, very beginning, I have to say that I absolutely loved it. I was frightened when I saw the set because it's such a steep rake. And I've worked um, many, 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 many years ago on a, um, a stage that had a, a very complicated um, setup that makes it really hard to work on. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's terrifying. But... Um, it is an absolutely extraordinary production. It's a properly theatrical production um, with enormous, enormous theatrical choices. And also for me, it is high comedy. I was amongst the few in the audience that found most things utterly, unbearably, completely hilarious. Particularly because Kate Normington is so funny and Albert Pedorius is so funny. And then of course, everyone else. I really loved the style of the production and I loved the choices that were made. I loved the soundscape that was created life on stage. Um, I loved the high theatricality of it and the um, stylization of it. I thought it was very, very entertaining and very um, absorbing. I also loved that this cast was able to portray so many characters and um, was able to deliver this incredibly complex and and epic story um, with so few people, but with incredible costume changes and um, incredible phys physicality. Uh, what I did find interesting was that I found that the, the production for me was, it was like the most engaging spectacle. I felt like it was spectacle and I was watching it as if it was spectacle, which meant that it took a very, very long time for me to, to be moved by it. And finally I was, and that's because of the incredible performance of Rob Van Furen as, um, oh, I can't remember the character's name now. But Rob Van Furen, Abs Anton, 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 absolutely extraordinary, extraordinary, um, heartbreaking. And I also had a very deep connection to him because he felt like he was my, um, he was my in, he was my peer, um, just in terms of age and, 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 context, I felt very connected to him. Um, but everyone was amazing, without a doubt. The entire cast was absolutely brilliant. Um, it's too long. It's definitely, definitely too long. And part of the reason that it's too long is because I think it has about five false endings, which I know are in the book, but I think that um, I think it could have been shortened from that, from the end in. And also, it's, an, it's a weird thing, but it's, it was long because everyone spoke very slowly. And that was quite in, an interesting thing for me. But it's a remarkable production. It's incredibly original. It's very, very uncomfortable. Um, it's very exposing in the best possible way of, you know, from that point of view of what it means to be white and having grown up in South Africa at that time in that place and how we deal with it now, which is probably what it's, what, what's most relevant about it. 
but um, it's beautifully written. It's extraordinarily well directed. It's beautifully designed by Josh Lind Lindbergh, um, excepting for that rake, which is terrifying. Um, it looks amazing, but it is very, very scary. And there is high, high, high production value in this spectacle of an epic piece of theatre.